The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference. Welcome back. Now, as you can clearly see, we've been working tirelessly all morning. So it's about time we sat down and took ourselves a little tea break. Well earned. And Chrissy Gibson from Take the Cake has the perfect treat for tea dunking yes. that goes by the name of Mrs. Peterson's Cookies. you got to do that in American accent. Miss Gibson, good morning. Who is Miss Peterson? Good morning, Mr. Power. Good oh, morning. Yeah. Wow. Well, we very mysterious, to... isn't it? Mrs. Peterson's Cookies. Yeah. This is very exclusive <laughs> today, only on Ireland AM, gentlemen. So this was a recipe that was given to you by... My, uh, this was our family's babysitter in Vancouver. Okay. okay. So this was 50 years ago. So wow. she was 85 at the time. So, you know, she's probably long since passed. Really? But Mrs. Peterson's cookies have stayed with us. And every now and then on the show, I like to do something very personal. You guys you liked, do, yeah. you liked our banana fritters. You liked that's our right. biscuits and honey. Yeah. This would be another one that's very close to my heart. My daughter loves them, and she's been hounding me for three years to get these done on the show. Oh, right. So okay. here well, we go. This is for her, so. It is. Okay. There you go, Charlotte. Now, we're starting with 115 grams of softened butter and 110 grams of caster sugar. If you want to use granulated sugar, that's okay, too. I mix these two up until they're nice and fluffy, okay? And we're going to add one more type of sugar to this before we're done. This is light muscovado sugar. And uh, we're going to add 220 grams of this. Now, light muscovado sugar has more moisture and a bit of um, molasses in it. So what you get when you add light muscovado sugar to your cookies is a softer cookie. Now... Yeah, I was going to say, these aren't cookies that are going to snap. No. These okay. are really, really different. In fact, I think that anybody who tries these at home, they will find that they are unlike any other cookies they've had because these are a cakey cookie. You know how cookie. cookies cookies either bend or they snap and these th these really don't do either. These are these are cakey. So is it a cookie? Is it a cake? I don't know. Are they chewy? Are they gooey? Yeah, they're chewy and gooey and you're going to find so out There's a jingle right in itself here, lads. There is indeed. Is it cakey? Is Can it cookie? Is it chewy? Is it gooey? on the whatever the type of sugar you just put in was called. The muscovado. Like muscovado. No. Well done. no, don't use dark muscovado. Gotcha. Okay. And don't okay. double don't. up on the white sugar. You want to do 110 white sugar and 220 light muscovado sugar. So we're going to add two eggs to this mixture, okay? So did you, back in the day, ask Mrs. Peterson for this recipe? Or no, she used to make them for us, and we all liked them so much, apparently. It, this is way when we lived back in Vancouver, so mm. I have very little recollection of it, but m she gave the recipe to my mom. Ah, very good. So my mom made them for us growing up, and... They were always one of our favorites. Your mother is the keeper of the recipes. She, yes. she really is. Yeah. You know she is. Yes, I do, yeah. So we're going to give this another mix. After we add those two eggs, it's going to become nice and fluffy. Okay. We have uh, just about two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract to add, so that's about 10 mils. So we'll dump that in. And here's where it gets a little bit different. This might be something different for you. You don't usually find this ingredient in cookies. This is evaporated milk. Okay? Evaporated, evaporated milk. Evaporated oh, right. milk. Okay. Now, uh, evaporated milk is a substitute for, say, full fat milk or cream. The difference is it's, well, it, it's not as bad for you. Mm -hmm. And you still get the really creamy texture. So you mm -hmm. can bake with evaporated milk in the same way that you might add milk or cream to your, your oh, cookie right. or okay. cake. So it is a tin ball thing. It's so not something you're, you do You're buying milk it in a can and do not confuse it with sweetened condensed milk. Yeah. We are not using sweetened condensed milk. We're using evaporated, evaporated milk. milk. It's a taller okay. can. Okay. okay, so in the cookies, we're adding 260 mils. Okay. Okay. We're going to give that another whip. And um, over here on the stove, lads, you might have noticed that I was browning some butter earlier. Well, can I just jump in there and say that you were indeed browning some butter <laughs> and then you left that in the <laughs> capable hands of someone who shall remain nameless, who's no. 
without question, one of the best chefs this side of Marino Park, Sinead, no. our floor manager, who burned it. No, 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 no. She did nothing. No, of she the didn't sort. burn it. Uh, you no. rat there outside. This <laughs> stove is so tricky. Oh, it's, it's the uh, stove. Ah, yeah, yeah, blame with the stove. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I did walk There's away. There's Sinead getting. I take full Yeah, now in fairness, you did a great job. And in fairness to Sinead, she is such an accomplished cook. How could I would be so surprised <laughs> at your burning butter? Yeah, she's in charge of the microwave here usually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to the brown butter in a minute. But so we've added our evaporated milk. We're giving that another mix. Okay, we're also going to add a dry uh, mixture. So we're we're doing a half a teaspoon each of bread soda and salt. Okay, okay into 500 grams of self-raising flour, okay. okay? Even though I said these are cakey cookies, we're not using cake flour, in okay. case you're wondering. Uh, we're doing uh, about 10 grams of baking powder, all right? And could you add chocolate chips? Or, I mean, I don't want to ruin Mrs. Peterson's perfectly classical recipe. Simon. But well, the I know. would be no. Sorry, I got a look, look there that's frightened me, Aiden, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I've Simon. turned cold inside. That'll be a no, You got then. the look, yeah. yeah. I tell you what, I'll come on and we'll make some chocolate chip cookies together soon. Fine, how does, that's, how does that's that sound? all I wanted to know. Is that, is that a good that's compromise? Easily pleased. That's absolutely, now, yeah, yeah. So we, uh, we've, we've mixed together those four dry ingredients, okay? And we're going to take our hand mixer and beat them together. Okay. After we're done making our dough, we're gonna chill it. You have to chill this for at least a half an hour, okay? Keep blending it until it's nice and creamy, and you'll find that when you're done, it's going to look something like this. Now, I, ah, have, right. I have chilled this already. You don't want to bake it directly from having mixed it. You're gonna chill it for at least a half an hour. So while that's chilling, we're going to go ahead and make the glaze. Do you notice how on the cookies, there's a nice glaze. Yes. This is a browned butter glaze. Now, yeah. browned butter is pure magic. I have only one item on my menu that has a brown butter frosting, and it is gorge. Mm -hmm. So when you brown your butter, you are literally boiling it until it looks like a Guinness. Maybe not quite as dark as a Guinness, but that's what you're going for. You, you boil the butter and you stir it all the while, watching it, not walking away like I yeah, did, yeah. poor Sinead. Yeah, you okay? left poor Sinead and, holding the baby and there. And you will find that your butter goes very bubbly and it'll get that head on the top like a Guinness mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. and, and as you stir it, you'll see it go brown. So you don't want it to go black, you don't want it to burn. Once it smokes, you can no longer use it. If right. it burns, you gotta toss it out. Get rid okay. Of it. Yeah. okay, so there's a fine line. Brown your butter, yeah. and when it's a nice shade of brown with some bits on the bottom, don't let yeah. the bits scare you, stop. Okay. Set it aside, Very okay? Good. Now, in your little bowls there, gentlemen, you have uh, a bit of browned butter. Give that a smell, and the reason, and even maybe taste it if you want. It's nutty. It is nutty. So taste when you, now, when yeah, you like brown your butter, first. You oh, yeah. are uh, caramelizing the fat in the butter, mm -hmm. and the result is a really nutty quality. And it's Beautiful. really, really unique. Oh. Isn't Gorgeous, that nice? Isn't can we dive in? Just to, can we dive in here, Chrissy? Go ahead. So it is cake. You look at the texture on that. Okay, oh. so. Now, oh. by brown butter, by the way, That's I will mention, uh, you can use it for anything. Anytime you might use butter in a sauce for, for, for meat or fish or bread or anything, oh. uh, it just adds a different quality. It's so soft, isn't it? It's lazy to are, are we dunking? Are you a dunker? We're going to dunk. If you You're want dunking. to, you can. Oh, so I'm making the glaze by adding 140 grams of icing sugar to my browned butter and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's five mils. And then 130 more mils, guys, of evaporated milk. Ah, okay? right, okay. That and glaze, then, by the way, is amazing. Isn't that nice? Oh, it's gorgeous, yeah. But do you see what I mean about the uniqueness of mm, the flavor? Yeah, it's very unique. And the consistency of them. They're very That's cakey. That's a cake, baby. Isn't that a cookie or a cake, Aiden? Is it's it a, a cakey, cookie? It's a cakey cookie. It's a cakey cookie. Okay. Cookie, cookie it is cakey. a cakey cookie. Yeah. Oh, my now, so good. I, I, before I glaze my cookies, I'm going to go over here to this side and glaze my cookies. I like to let my glaze set aside a few minutes. You're going to bake these cookies for about 10 minutes if you make them big, the way I like to. Mm -hmm. If you're going to make them small, just bake them for eight minutes at 160. And I like to, when I make my glaze, Look I that. like to make it gloopy. Yeah, All right, that's a glaze. perfect glaze. I like to let Small it sit. I like to Fair let enough. it sit and cool a little bit. Once your once your glaze cools a little bit, okay. it'll become a bit thicker and easier to spread. You see? Oh, yes. 
and that's how you make Mrs. Peterson's cookies. If you prefer to use a different name, we can call these browned butter cookies. Oh, I think they deserve to be called uh, Mrs. Mrs. Peterson. Mrs. Peterson deserves full credit. It's I her, agree. It's her legacy, it's her recipe, and... And thank you to Absolutely your mother gorgeous. for passing the recipe on. Thank you, Chrissy. They My are pleasure. absolutely Chrissy, as ever. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> the Beautiful. Mother. Full recipe details are, of course, up on the website. Or you can check out Chrissy's own website, takethecake.ie, for a list of more of her recipes and her stockists. Lots more stuff to come on our AM. Don't go anywhere. Thank you, Chrissy. Thanks, Chrissy. The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference.